Welcome back. Let's have a word with Junpei here. Sup? Wanna check out the outdoor hot spring? I guess so. Let's go. Sweet! I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. Oh. I would have ended the previous part at a different location had I known that. Oh well. Should I go back to my room and get ready to hit the hot spring? Yeah. Do you know this hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? So, there's a chance it could switch to girls only while we're still in here. Oh dear, oh dear, Junpei. But even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. I mean, it would be, based on what you're saying. Don't you think? Um. Hmm. I don't know about that. Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? It's a hot spring. Junpei and Ryoji seem to be acting strange. So. What time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji kun Oh no, what did you guys do? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei kun You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour, but don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we going to do? You got us into this mess. You get us out of it. Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know that it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow, this hot spring is huge. Now that's a familiar voice. Oh, shit. Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them. What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky... <laughs> Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! I, I don't think you can breathe, Junpei. Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Mitsuru's here too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, you don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... We're doomed. Then what? We'll be executed. It's game over. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. A ghost? Um, okay. We have to deal with a ghost being around as well? We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Hey, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What? Well, again, you got us into this mess. What the hell should we do? We'll hide in the steam. Seems like a bold move. 
but I trust your judgment. Wow, you really know what you're doing. I really don't, but you know. In the shadows? No, there's no one here. See, <laughs> you have nothing to be afraid of. You can clearly see them. Are you sure? And the rubber ducky. Looks like we bought ourselves some time. But if the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted. Mitsuru and I guess are probably close too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? Use the duck as a red heading. I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Thank you, Mr. Duck. Good plan. You will serve as well. Uh, what herring? And why is it red? He can explain later. Fly! Ah, what was that? Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. We know where they are now. This is our chance. The exit is right there. We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that. Hmm, just follow my lead. Whoa, so much confidence. You're like a natural born leader. I've been a leader for a while now, but anyway. Well, you got us this far. Might as well go all in with you. All right, let's move. No, it couldn't be. It could. It's a rubber ducky. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess I was wrong. Is it just me, or is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> Obviously. How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific. Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ooh, ice cream. I fancy some ice cream. Ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. Ugh, I don't know how, but we made it out, all thanks to you. Well, we did, but what about the other two? That's my question right now. One wrong step, and Mitsuru would have had our heads. Uh, where'd Junpei and Mochizuki go? Huh? Junpei-kun and Ryoji-kun are lying on the ground over there. What? Their faces are all red. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something stupid again. Probably. Just leave them alone. Oh, looks like the heat got to them. Guess they got what was coming. They never saw it coming. It's the 20th, a Friday. It's the last day of our school trip. We'll be leaving Kyoto by bullet train this afternoon. I'm free until then. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? Yeah, when? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, mostly because of last night. Dude. <sighs> You're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Crap, here they come. Hmm? What's going on, guys? Nothing, nothing at all. Oh, uh, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. Uh, what are you 
reflecting on? Life, the universe, and everything. Uh, uh, oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, whatever. I feel like Mitsuru knew. Mm. This secret stays between us, got it? You guys better take it to the grave. Oh, maybe not. I was expecting her to turn up and berate them. Oh, welcome back. Wow, that was fast. <sighs> Man, I'm so tired. But it was a lot of fun. I brought you back some souvenir stories, so I'll tell you them later. Oh. Okay. I'll be looking forward to them. Hmm. We can't go to Tartarus tonight. We're all too tired. Let's go tomorrow night. Even though we don't have anything to fight for anymore. Hmm, so what could we do? Could do Karamaru. We've already done... Um... Burgers. What's it called? Wild Duck Burger. I couldn't remember the name of it. I was, I was thinking Big Bang Burger, but the, no, that's Persona 5. That's Persona 5. Now we did... See about um, buying stuff. Let's see if we can give anything to Ken here because he did want a souvenir. What? You really got me a souvenir? What should I give him? Yeah, out of this lot, what do we want to give him? A pickled turnip. Enjoy. What? Hmm? Are these pickled vegetables? I see. Um. By the way, you guys look a bit uncomfortable around the girls. Did something happen on the school trip? No? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing. Right, let's check the games. Oh. Oh! Could it be? I did suspect there was going to be a quest. So, I already had it. Marvelous. <laughs> I'm looking forward. About requests. Are you accepting a request? Oh no, is the big eater challenge? Oh. I thought there was going to be a quest be like, could you get me something from Kyoto that I picked up that I just forgot? All right, then. Let's hear the results. I see that you took on the burger establishment's eating challenge. Wasn't aware that completing it would grant you access to an off-menu combo. Marvelous. What a truly generous service. Though it has only made me yearn even more to challenge it myself one day. Please take this as your reward. Oh, more Twilight Fragments. Oh. Looking for the drink with my name. Shame. Come across a rumor I cannot dismiss. Apparently my name is being used somewhere without my knowledge or consent. According to the rumor, this beverage is only available in an unpopular spot. Please conduct a thorough investigation of this beverage, as it concerns my reputation. I will await a report oh. of success. So where's that then? Very well. Oh, nothing here. Hmm, all right. Oh, we're checking the arcade now, anyway. But, nope. There we go. Or not. There we go. Agility? No. Right. So, let's see about... The... What's it called? The, the offering. Where are you? Oh, no, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The offering pass, yeah. Just wondering which one it was. Let me try the prepaid offering pass. We know how this works. We've already used it, so... Let's pick Fuka. Yeah, 3% again. Cool. So, 21st, Saturday. I can hear people talking. Seriously? I was so excited about having next Monday off, but then I remembered career experience week starts Tuesday. It's lame we have to work even though we won't get paid. What jobs did you get? No way, man. Tuesday and Wednesday I've got a construction job. And on Thursday and Friday I'm at a gas station. You know what? Dang, that sucks. And a teacher's gonna be keeping an eye on us the whole time too. 
Career and experience week starts Tuesday. Where will my job be? Who knows? Who knows? The first bell has rung. Bam. Badam, bandam, bandam. You good? So, did you all enjoy the school trip? I sure didn't. I couldn't care less about shrines and temples. Well, career experience week starts Tuesday. Just think of it as another boring field trip for social studies. It's pretty tough out there in the real world. If you don't know what I mean by the end of the week, you will. Oh dear. Myself, though, I'm just happy I'll have the chance to relax. Does anyone have any fond memories from the trip they'd like to share with the class, Junpei? Come on now, don't turn away from me. I'm feeling sleepy. Right, let's close my eyes for a few minutes. Get my courage up. We don't need courage. Don't need it. Alright. After school, what we got? Class has ended for today. Hmm. So we got Fuka. We got you, you, you three are maxed out. We can't do you two anyway. Okay. Okay, so Fuka. We got Chiori. Hmm. Let's, 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 let's. Got nothing over there. Why have we got the three marks? Here. Oh, hello. That's different. That's probably what's caused it. Or maybe not. Because you just have a normal social link icon. Hmm. Mitsuru? Hello. Ah, Yuki. I've been hearing a lot about you lately. It sounds like you're studying hard. <laughs> I'm impressed, but try not to stress yourself out. Mitsuru acknowledged the effort I put in. Academics, this might be my chance to get to know her better. Um, By the way, sorry. Yuki, this is completely unrelated, but I'd like to talk to you about something. If you don't mind, can you spare some time? Sure. I see. Excellent. Well, um, could you come with me? I'd rather not talk about it here. No? So, um... I need to know the etiquette of this place. Are there any customs I should follow? Enjoy the food. Um... Hmm. Slurp the noodles, yes. Oh, right. Slurping is considered polite. I've heard about that. I hope I can do this correctly. Now then, let us begin. Bon appétit. Hmm. What a fascinating flavor. I'm getting hungry again. I thought it's strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? Chef de Cuisine. Chef de Cuisine? You talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chef. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? What the hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss. Can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table. I suppose that means it comes in sandwich form as well. No. No. I see. What a fascinating delicacy. Uh, that ain't exactly... Well, whatever. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. I mean, he is selling it. Sort of. Oh, sorry. Um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. <sighs> Do you find that unusual? No, not at all. Yeah, not at all. 
Oh, that's good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. You remember to slurp. I would love to return here in the future. I saw an unexpected side of Mitsuru. Feel like our relationship has grown. Right, so here we go then. Lovely. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. It's Empress. Thou shalt. There we go then. Need to make sure I have an Empress Persona if we're going to be carrying on with this. Oh, I didn't notice the time. We should be going. Why do we have somewhere to be? Uh, we decided to go back to the dorm. We could stay there and enjoy the food. Very well. Evening. Welcome back. Hi, how was your day? Ryoji-kun was just here, was he? He came to hang out with Junpei-kun. It's not often that we get visitors here. Yeah. You think it's okay? I'm actually surprised that he's not with a girl. Hey, where's Igis? Um... I saw her on the second floor. Huh? Really? Hmm, maybe she's with Koromaru. It's not like them to be gone. Alright, so we got you two over there. Like the wait. Is over! No. Um. Hmm. Well, let's, let's just check my personas right now. I do not have an Empress. We are done. Hmm. I'm trying to think like what we're actually. We're, we're done with death. Like, so we can get rid of you. Uh, Hermit we're done with, so we can get rid of you. Chariot we're done with, so we can get rid of you. Fortune Tower we're done with, so we can get rid of you. Um... Try to remember what else we need right now. Let's see about going to the Velvet Room and just picking up an Empress. Be a good idea. Ooh, camera was weird then. Like, ugh. strange. Um, anyway. Into the velvet room. Gotta remember which one I want. Because my mind was saying priestess just then, and it's like, no brain, no. No, we want an empress persona. We want an empress. Empress, empress, empress. There we go. And we can get one. Please take a look. Is to no cost whatsoever. Lovely. Lovely. Alright, let's well. get out of here. We're done for now. We look. We look. Oh. Interesting to know, I suppose. Yeah. Okay, so. Question is, what do we want to do tonight? Nope. Let's see. Ah, we've got the magic. Lovely. Very interesting game. Magic went up by three. How, how high are we on the stats now? Oh. <sighs> Chidori. What am I drawing? Why is this? What? <gasps> it's been a while. Uh-oh. That voice. I'm glad to see you once again. Somehow, Straker has returned. Jin, the instruments if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. How light is that? Because that did not fall down with any kind of weight to it. It didn't seem to be pulled down by gravity. It, it sort of drifted down. Anyway. Now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? 
Kaya. Surely you understand. Is it just me, or does that evoker have an Aegis core on it? Huh. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. It's all his fault. Ever since he started getting too close. I've suffered. Every. Single. Day. And now... I'm afraid to die. Hey, Chidori. Hurry it up. <sighs> Mandia. Let's go. It was nice to see his flower there, though. The 22nd, a Sunday. There's no school today. Oh, we got a new thing on the shelf. It's almost time for the home shopping show. Yeah, but what about what about this? No, not the photo. Not the photo. Not the photo. Not the photo. Not the certificate. Not the mask. Not the certificate. Not the photo. Not the mask. It's a model of a tower. Ryoji and Junpei were full of energy when we visited Kiyomizu Temple on the school trip. That they were. All right, let's see what we got on the TV. All right, hello. Garnet and an opal. All right, we'll have them. Thanks, kid. Bye bye. Right, so let's go see about Akinari. Yes. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. There he is. So, should be ranked 10 now. Right. Ah, hello there. It's good to see you. Please have a seat if you'd like. Feel like I might grow closer to Kamiki soon. Should I spend the day with Kamiki? Yes. Thank you. This bench really is our special little place. I've been waiting. I finished my story and wanted to show it to you. I was having a lot of trouble with the ending, but I finally figured it out. After the alligator ate his friend, the bird, he cried and cried for a long time. In fact, he was so sad that he drowned in his own tears. His tears became a sparkling lake around which grew beautiful flowers and a tree that bore delicious fruit. The other animals in the forest came there often to relax, but none of them knew the alligator had created it or that he was gone. The end. That's the ending I decided on. Even though the alligator didn't find meaning in his life, the residents of the forest did. I like it. I like it. They just didn't realize it. They don't have to realize it. The meaning of my life isn't something I should spend my time on. It's more about how I was able to affect others. So, for me, or you, or anyone, just simply existing gives our lives meaning. People can't survive without help from others. We all depend on one another. I don't know how to explain it, but does that make sense? In some ways, yes. I think so. I'm glad. This is the notebook I wrote my story in. I've poured my heart and soul into it. I wanted to give you this, since you shared my final moments. Worn notebook. <sighs> my body feels lighter. I'm so grateful to have met you. It seems so insignificant, but... Maybe there was some meaning in it for both of us. Thank you. In the end, 
I'm glad that I was born. Well, I'm glad to hear that. I can sense Akinari's tender feelings. I feel like our relationship is stronger now. There we go, we've maxed it out. The sun, everyone! I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. So what did we get then? Let's have a look. Rank up. Number 10. But what did we get? What did we get? Asura. The grand being. I have to go now. Oh. See you next Sunday? Maybe someday we'll meet again. Maybe, maybe. I'd like that. Hey, what the? With the notebook tightly in hand, I decided to head back to the dorm. I really like that one. Because it is, yeah, at some point, We're through doing back. that social link, he died and that was his ghost. Sup, dude? It, it would have been interesting to have a, how was your day? It's like, um, I, I spent part of the day talking to a ghost. You know, the usual. You know how it is. You know how these things go down. Right, so, let's go see... Because it's Sunday, I should be able to get my magic up right with my persona here, which is my lovely Black Frost here. 71. We're getting there, we're getting there. I want that 99 on that. Alright. So, here we go, another three. Alright, very interesting game. Three! 